Bora, Zu. Hi guys, uh, welcome to today's lesson. We're going to go through um, the Stone Roses Waterfall. This is a track I teach quite a lot, so um, I really wanted to get a video up of it to help out my students, but hopefully uh, some of you guys are going to find it useful. Um, it's a really cool song. Today I'm going to go through the intro, the verse and the chorus, and then um, I'll put up another video um, within the next few days, basically, of me doing the solo as well, the outro solo, which is really, really cool. Um, so let's go through the main part. So as you can see, first things first, capo. So I've got a capo on the fourth fret, basically. Um, obviously it still sounds fine if you do it without the capo on, but to play in the correct key along with the original, you need to have the capo on the fourth fret, okay? So that gives it, it's high enough that it gives it a very different sound. The main chord we're gonna be doing is this kind of D power chord, a D5 chord. But because of where it is, it becomes an F sharp chord, so. It's a bit of a strange key to play in as well, but that's really what gives the sound of this song. So let's go through this. There's basically this three riffs. That's it. And the first riff is the most important, the main riff of the song, and we're gonna be playing this in the intro, in the verse, and in the chorus. And we even play a variation of it as the outro, which, I'll, which I will go through in the solo. So this is the most important thing. We're gonna get this D5 shape. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play my, with my first finger I'm going to play the G string, what is now 2nd fret, um, it's actually the 6th fret, but obviously because I've got the capo on it's 2nd fret, and then my ring finger is going to play the 3rd fret, okay, on the B string, so we're playing the top two parts of a D chord, no middle finger down there, we're just going to play those two, okay. The picking is going to be relatively simple, we're going to play an open D string, okay, then we're going to pick up from the B string, so it's 3rd fret B, 2nd fret on the G, then open D again. And that's the rhythm. So the first two notes are longer, okay? The first note's the longest, then the second note's almost the same length, then the final two are quite fast, okay? Then, with my first finger there, I'm gonna play that note second fret, and do a very quick pull off to open. It's almost, it's almost, uh, imperceptible, is that a word? Hmm. It's very hard to hear, that's what I'm trying to say, that it, it, it is a pull-off, um, I'm sure it's a pull-off, but it's a very, very fast pull-off, and so it's second fret pull-off to open, then I'm gonna replay the open G string, okay? Then with my ring finger, I'm gonna play fourth fret on the D string, okay? Fourth fret on the D, then another open G. Okay, so that final bit, the kind of second half of the riff is a pull-off there, open G, 4th fret D, open G. Okay, so let's do the whole riff. I'll do it slowly, then I'll do it a bit faster. So you can hear there is a, a slight swing to this as well. It's not a straight song. It's definitely got a swing rhythm to it as well. I've got sellotape in the background, <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, so uh, that's basically, that's the main riff, okay? So, as I said, it's so, so important, we're gonna do that in every section. To start the song, we're gonna do that four times as the intro, just that riff four times, no changes as the intro. Then at the start of the verse, we're gonna do it four more times, basically at the start of each verse, okay? Uh, and then we'll have a short cut and we'll play, we'll do the verse riff. Okay, so as I said before, the verse actually starts with four times uh, through the main riff, and then we're going to have this riff. Okay, so it's. So this is one of those ones. If you know how to play Wake Me Up When September Ends by um, Green Day, you'll know how to play this. Uh, and once you've learned this, you can play Wake Me Up When September Ends because it's exactly the same moves. First finger is going to play third fret B string, okay, and ring finger is going to play fifth fret D string. And what I'm going to do there is I'm going to play fifth fret D, third fret B, open G. Again with that slight swing feel. Then I'm going to walk the bass note down, which is the the D string, to the fourth fret, which I'm now going to play with my middle finger. First finger stays as is. Same picking pattern as well, D string, B string, G string. 
Then I'm going to go to this shape here, so I'm going to play 2nd fret D string and I'm going to play 3rd fret B string. I'm going to play that 3rd fret B string with my ring finger, Not I could play it like that, I'm going to play it with my ring finger so that it's more comfortable when I move to the main riff because I, I will be doing that after this riff basically. So. So and then we're going to play that twice, I should say. So that's D, B, G twice. Okay, so the first half of this riff. The second half is almost exactly the same. We do this one again, fifth fret with our ring finger and third fret with our first finger. Then we move the root note back. Then to here, once. And then we're going to do two open E strings. Then we're going to play 3rd fret B string. You can hit a little D chord there as well, that works as well. But I usually just play the 3rd fret on the B string. Okay, so, and then actually we do twice through the main riff again after that. So it's four times of the main riff, that little riff I just went through, then twice more of that main riff. Uh, and that's our, our verse. So let me just, I'll play through the whole verse, I think that's a good way to go. So, start with the main riff. Okay, and that's the, the whole of the verse. Every verse is the same. There's three verses before the first chorus and there's two verses after the first chorus and then, and then there's another chorus and solo. So it's five in total. And again, they're all exactly the same in terms of how you play them. Four times the main riff, just literally play through the verse riff. So twice and then Okay, then twice of the main riff. Okay, pretty simple. Hopefully, uh, yeah, the main thing is just getting used to the picking, but they're relatively simple riffs and they sound fantastic. So, yeah, now let's move on to the chorus. Okay, so the chorus, you know, is a very, very similar feel. Basically, once we finished up with the verse, twice through this again, then we're gonna go into our chorus, which is this. Okay, so again, there's a lot of main riff in there. But we can start by playing what is effectively a C chord. I'm gonna play third fret A string with my ring finger and first fret B string with my first finger. I'm gonna play A string, B string, open G, okay? Well, it sounds slightly out of tune, doesn't it? Well, hopefully you'll let me off, you'll forgive me. Then what I'm gonna do is then play Pardon me, sorry, I'm getting it all wrong now. Then I'm going to play 2nd fret, I'm going to walk that bass note down. So 2nd fret, A string with my middle finger, 1st finger stays as is. Same picking, it's going to be A string, B string, open G string. Okay, then I'm going to play a little strummy bit. So it's an A7, top part of an A7 really. So it's going to be open A string, 2nd fret, D string, open G string. Okay, so it's C. Then uh, uh, C slash B, I guess, uh, then an A7 sound. Then we're going to do the main riff twice. Then we go back to this C shape. So again, A string, B string, G string, same again, walk it back. We're going to do this A7 shape. But then, we're going to then play third fret on the B string. And I'm going to strum along with that open G and open E. So we get that sound, so... And then the main riff times two. Okay, and that's all the chorus is basically. So the structure of the song is basically four times through the main riff for the intro, then you've got the verse as I've gone through it, three of those, just play through three of those. Um, so the verse is twice through the main riff, through the verse riff, and then twice more through the main riff. Do that three times. Then you've got the chorus, just as I've gone through, which is the chorus riff, then, t uh, well, the the core, you know, the first part of the chorus riff, then twice through the main riff, 
Then second part of the chorus riff, strum, and then twice through the main riff. Move the guitar around a lot, then I apologise, my leg was uncomfortable. Um, that's the chorus, and then as soon as that's done, we go then straight back into the verse. We do two more verses, uh, and then we do the chorus, just the same again, and then we're going to go into the solo. All that kind of stuff. Um, and lots of... Which I'll go, so I'll go through that later in the week. And that's it really. Really, really simple song. I love this song. I've loved this song since the first time my friend uh, lent me a Stone Roses CD, the first Stone Roses album, and that was like, oh, I love it. It's so good. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Uh, please go check out the other videos I've got on my channel. I've got a lot of kind of... Um, kind of Brit poppy, Brit poppy tunes on there, a little bit later in this, more the kind of mid 90s stuff. Um, as I always say to people, if there's any songs you want me to do, just put it down in the comments. I've tried to do most of the songs that people have asked for actually, and this, this is one actually that someone's asked for as well. It just so happens it's a song I teach. Um, and as usual, it really, really helps if you like the video, if you subscribe to the channel, and if you comment on the video as well. As I say, it's great if you suggest a song, if you just say thanks, if you just say, you know, you should be playing it on a Gibson, which is true, I should be. Um, that, that's all good, it's all good, and it really, really helps. Uh, yeah, and go check out, I've got a Facebook page, at Kramer Guitar, not at Kramer, that's my Twitter handle, at Kramer Guitar, uh, facebook.com slash Kramer Guitar, just throw me a like on there. And also, if you want um, to suggest songs, you can, you can um, yeah, PM me on there, or PM me on Twitter, it's absolutely cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys soon uh, for some more of this, actually. It'll probably be the next video I do. See you soon. Bye-bye.